Hello, soul loves. It's Kimberly with Celestial Juju, and we're going to talk about that big conjunct that's happening. It's the big ass conjunct that everybody's talking about. What am I talking about? I'm talking about Jupiter, Uranus in Taurus. Not only are they there, but Pandora, the asteroid, is also hanging out with them. Uh-huh. So we're going to dive into all of that. I'll get into the significance of each of the players, what the uh, vibration of the energy is. We'll go through what that means for the collective and then into your individual sign, the house that that will be showing up for you, the theme of the house and what that theme is for you. This is not just a flash in the pan, even though it is a flash in the pan because it's Uranus. Uranus is always a flash in the pan. It doesn't last just a second. It's a 14 year cycle. That's what this is. Uranus and Jupiter meet every 14 years in one of the houses. Okay. This time it's in Taurus. And the last time it was there was 84 years ago, 1941. That's that's what we're talking about, people. A change, a change in the era. It's like a whole big opportunity for change. And so that opportunity of change comes when you connect to the energy, when you connect to your passion, when you connect to the hope that Pandora can bring, because that's within you. And when you connect to that, you can make those kinds of changes in the world. Okay. So... It's time to dream it in. It's time to dream it all in because we're riding the wave of this of this eclipse energy. And I already did one thing already on the Jupiter uh, for the week, the energy for the week. And so I talk a bit about it so you can go check that out. So yeah, we're in these mind blowing breakthrough energy energies. So what happens when we set this stage like this? It's an event that, like I said, that it occurs every 14 years, but ever 84 years went in the sign. And um, so it's an alignment that is enriched by the intriguing presence this time of Pandora, too. It's more than just an astrological curiosity. It signals profound shift in the cosmic energies that influence our personal and collective lives so welcome back if you've not been here before i am kimberly crow i am a western astrologer using host on systems for this energy analysis and um, uh, my mentor one of my astrology teachers lori um lothian lunatic astrology she brought up about the energy of Pandora. Okay. She's one of my teachers and she inspired me. Lori inspired me because she plays, you know, with the asteroids. <laughs> She's all in there with them. And I do, but I don't bring it out to you all because there's so much with it. You know, you've heard me talk about Cryon and sometimes I talk about Lilith. So, um, I really started diving into the energy of Pandora and what the energy is and what she brings and it's this it makes me want to cry because of the energy of holding the hope and that 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 the hope is still here still here because i'd kind of lost hope for humanity and that pandora is bringing this cauldron of hope that with when um you know i'm going to do another whole thing on pandora in all of the mythology of her and you could go watch Lori's channel because she talks about that in it and what that energy is about but pandora was created from the gifts of the gods to be a gift to the gods and she was given a box which was the translation was actually wrong but that was what it translated to it's kind of a quadrant it's kind of a you know it has a lid on it and when she opened it up she was told not to open it. Curiosity got her. She opened it and it had the woes of the world. Where and oh, she was the first woman that was created for humanity or or 
she was the first woman created too. So where have we heard all of these stories and it's always women that bring the pain. So that energy was let loose and down in the bottom of it was still the energy of hope. And so what she told me when I started diving into this, she, I mean, Pandora, cause that's what I do when someone inspires me, then I go travel with the energy to see what the energy is for energy is for me and what the energy that's coming up. And Pandora showed me that the representation of the hope within that the hope was within it was still left and that hope is within you and when you connect to the passion then that's when we connect to the hope so that's how we change the world people it's how we do it and i mean i have been in a hopeless time period myself so this brought much connecting to the synergy and the reconnection of that has definitely shifted me in in the last week okay so as we dive into this energy that's a that's occurring on the day of april the 20th we're already in the window of it because we're in like a 10-day energy with this so it brings in this sense of these vibrations as a significant as this approach as this transit approaches signaling major shifts ahead the conjunct is at 21 degrees taurus which will be impactful if you have any planets at all between the 18 degrees to 24 in Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, or um, Aquarius in your own personal chart. So if you're going to, if you're looking at your own chart, you want to, you can look at those energies to see if something jumps out for you. If I was doing a reading on somebody, I would just intuitively look at it to see if, if there's a message from one of those, um, one of those placements with that degree. Okay. So it's an intense alignment. It has long-term applications to it. It's important to note that this long-term transits is marking the start of a 13.5-14 year cycle and that Jupiter and Uranus meet approximately every 14 years, I already said that, but they're conjunct in the same sign is only 84 years. We are embarking on this journey and it lasts, the last time we had the conjunct of Jupiter and um, Uranus was in 2000. 10 and 2011 so you can think back about that time for you and what these energies what this pivotal energy could have been for you during that time period so you'll get a little bit of the flavor of it of what the energy is that you may have felt and the changes that you've seen but it's in a different you know it's in a different house it's in a different sign than it was then okay so what are these energies Jupiter Jupiter represents expansion, beliefs, higher education, the law. It influences our aspirations, the higher mind, encouraging us to embrace diverse cultures and philosophies. Uranus symbolizes innovative evolution, technology, unexpected changes. It's associated with indi individuality and breaking free from the old to make way for the new taurus is a fixed earth sign taurus springs the themes of material security stability and appreciation for the finer things um it values slow steady progress and is resistant to change providing a fascinating contrast to these energies of the lightning flash insight and change that Uranus brings with the of expansion that Jupiter brings. Um, so this conjunct may signal time of significant material changes or transformation and how, and how we proceed to handle our resources for those with fixed signs that I mentioned earlier, this could mean a recess of values and um radical shift and how you manage your finances so navigating this transit with taurus being that that fixed earth sign it's ultimate it's fundamentally embodies values of stability sensuality stability it governs air sense of self-worth 
resources, personal finances, the conjunct of Jupiter, the planet of expansion, abundance with Uranus, the planet of innovation and sudden change in Taurus highlights a period of significant transformations related to, um, to these things. When the conjunct takes place between the planets, it's a powerful fusion of two energies. Uranus, the planet of evolution and change in astrology, is known for kicking over the game board and sending all the game pieces flying in all directions. And then Jupiter, on the other hand, it's known for binding, holding together. It's also known for the planet of good fortune and higher purpose and expansion at the same time. And Jupiter interprets the things that happen in our lives in terms of our greatest purpose or higher meaning. And the, another aspect of Jupiter is that um, it weaves, a ta like holding, as it's doing the weaving and bonding, it holds the tapestry together with the different threads to become a strong fabric. This is, this is one of the functions that Jupiter has in your personal chart. It weaves together all the, um, in, in, what do I want to say? Incongruent energies and, and brings this energy together into a co cohesive, whole separating the diversity of the planetary energies in your own astrological chart. So this conjunct with Jupiter, Uranus, Taurus brings together the evolution reform. It marks both the ending and the beginning, much like when midnight strikes at the end of one of the day and the beginning of the next. It has this conjunct is symbolizing the significant and the turning point where the revolutionary change meets possibility, reform, and it's time to consider what are we experience? Is it a breakdown or is it a breakthrough or perhaps both all intertwined? So the role of Pandora. In addition, the asteroid Pandora, she crosses the path of, with the guys, okay? To this celestial alignment, she introduces a layer of complexity and depth. In mythology, Pandora is known for unleashing the woes in the, and hope, holding the hope in her box. And it's a powerful symbol of dual nature of change. Pandora, Pandora's presence in this conjunct could symbolize the release of unexpected energies, events emphasizing the potential for both disruption and renewal. The historical context of this energy, this last conjunct of Jupiter and Uranus in 2010 and 11 marked a period of technological and social innovations. Now, as they meet in Taurus for the first time, in, the, in 84 years, this event is a reminder of cycles that begin bring fan, foundational changes, especially concerning air material and financial condi conditions. Have you watched the news this week? Have you watched any of that? Yep, it's it's there. It is it is definitely there. The themes and the expectations of this conjunct enhanced by Pandora's energies promises groundbreaking changes that may manifest with new opportunities, particularly in financial and material realms. Innovations in financial handling, such as advancements in digital currency, banking sector, transformations, are likely to happen. I mean, look at this whole time that you that um, where Uranus has been in Taurus uh, for um, the last what seven years? 
I mean, that's when we saw Bitcoin. That's when we saw AI. All of these things have come to be during this time period. So additionally, Pandora's influence, influence suggests that while some of the changes may seem disruptive, they can also bring new opportunity for growth and improvement. On a personal level, this period is ideal for embracing changes that align with one's true values, especially regarding your finances and your self-worth. The combination of Uranus' innovative energy and Jupiter's expansive quality, coupled with Pandora's promise of hope, encourages us to break free from outdated practices. Globally, this conjunct may lead to some, some significant technological advancements that impact the economy and our environmental strategies. Uh, the themes of uh, sustainability and uh, a push for greener technologies, because that's what Taurus is all about. So with this expansion happening in Taurus, there could be things that come to um come to be because of this time period we're expected to be this energy is expected to be prominent aligning to economic growth and ecological awareness so advice advice for navigating this time period reflect on values reassess what truly matters in terms of possessions, finances, and personal values, it's a time to redefine wealth and resources. Sources. Embrace change. Prepare for the unexpected shifts. Pandora's presence reminds us of dual nature of changes and the importance of maintaining hope. Plan, plan for long-term growth. Consider long-term investments or career changes that could enhance your resource base inspired by Jupiter's expansive energy. Stay grounded despite the push for change. Taurus's energy encourages us to remain connected to Earth, reassuring that changes are substantial uh, substantial and sustainable. Mind the impact on earth. As we adopt new technologies and strategies, consider their environmental impact, keeping true to Taurus's connection with nature. So this so this energy of Jupiter, Uranus, in Taurus, enhanced by Pandora, heralds a period of profound change. And the event is not merely just a fleeting astrological BS, or maybe it is, it's your choice. This occurrence is a significant marker for transformation, for change, if you take the energy and use it, that sets the tone for the next decade and beyond, promising growth, innovation, and deep revaluation that holds true to our lives. Okay, so as we approach this event, consider the changes in your lives and, and how you might use them um, to move forward constructively. There's um, the elements from the past that are worth preserving, even as you embrace the new ones. What are those? Do an inner reflection with that. With that. What is that energy about? This conjunct invites us to blend the old with the new in meaningful ways and potentially leading to significant personal and collective transformation. So now, darlings, we're going to go into all signs. So right before we step into all signs, my little public service announcement, I do weeklies, new moon, full moons, big ass transits that affect your life. And sometimes I throw stones at you with crystals and how you can take these energies to anchor this into your life. So 
you want to subscribe, do the notification, do the notification bell, like, share, do all of those things, make comments. So it makes my numbers do the things that they do. And I'll keep coming back to you week after week after week. So that's my public service announcement. Okay. I am Kimberly Crow. I am a Western astrologer using whole sign system for this energy analysis. Listen up to your rising, your sun, and your moon. You're rising. God know the time you were born. It's all about you. It's what you express out into the world. It's where you'll find those um, asteroids too and find out where Pandora is in your chart. This is what you came to evolve to be, okay? Your sun, it's your birthday. You shine that light out into the world and it's what's reflected back to you. And it can be your career in in your chart. It's your foundation. It can also be uh, male authority figures in your, in your life, in your sphere. And it could be your father in your chart. Your moon is your emotional IQ. It's how you want to be nurtured. It's your body. It's what nurtures it. It's how you nurture others. And it could be your mother in your chart. Okay, here we go. Aries, it's about embracing financial breakthroughs. This energy with the conjunct of Jupiter, Jupiter and Uranus on April the 20th activate your second house bring in transformation energy to your finances to your resources your self-worth it's a period that marks significant shift particularly potent in april and may where you might experience sudden changes in your income streams or find new opportunities for financial growth you may feel a sudden increase in your sense of value and potentially through new job opportunities or promotions that enhance not only your financial standing but also your self-esteem be cautious however as this period also calls for prudent financial management and avoid potential pitfalls due to overconfidence for those of you that have felt an instability brought on by Uranus in the past six years, this conjunct with Jupiter promises a more stable phase, especially as these planets align positively in May. Challenges uh, from your Saturn in your 12th house might bring up some past issues, but it's um, the entrepreneurial's among us will find this time right for innovative adventures and ventures to uh, of significant professional breakthroughs so what is the hope that pandora brings to you despite potential upheavals in financial matters pandora brings hope for new foundation of value and resources this could mean discovering a new way to generate income or recognizing the intrinsic value of resources beyond money taurus this centers around transformation of conjunct with jupiter and uranus it's in your sign baby it's impacting your first house your identity that's where pandora is hanging out she's giving you hope there of identity of personal growth this alignment it um peaking around the 20th of april ushers a period of profound personal evolution and unexpected developments and how you perceive yourself and your life path since Uranus entered your sign in 2018, it's been hanging out there since then. Your life has likely undergone several significant changes. And now Jupiter enhances, actually Jupiter's been there since last year, enhances these things because they're coming together with growth and expansion. You may find yourself on the brink of powerful personal awakening, and it could dramatically alter your direction of self perception it also is a crucial time for your health for your well-being initiating 
positive habits now can be long lasting benefits for the next 14 years. With the backdrop of the recent eclipses and Pluto's transformational move into your 10th house, your career and professional life are also in the flow and functuation energy, representing opportunities for creative freedom and substantial change. Embrace this period of significant transformation, Taurus. This is, it's like this, you know, it's a once in a lifetime for everybody, but really for you, because it's in, it's in your sign. This is your time to redefine your life's direction and embrace the new version of yourself and reflect your truest aspirations. So what's the hope that Pandora's bringing to you? It lies in your personal transformation and your rebirth as you face the changes and how you perceive yourself and how others see you. There's hope for more authentic expression and of your identity and your personal ambitions. Gemini, this is about unlocking your subconscious. Oh, Lord, what will we all do? So this energy activates your 12th house, the unconscious spirit guides, Akashic records, angels, demons. <laughs> It's all of it. It's institutions too, okay? This area governs your psyche, your hidden fears, your subconscious patterns, and the coming together of these planets promises a breakthrough and understanding and managing these deep-seated issues. Since 2018, Uranus has been stirring up an undercurrent in your mental and emotional realms, challenging you to confront inner turmoil, mental health, concerns jupiter's entry into this space brings um, a protective energy and expansive influence offering a chance for healing and for spiritual growth for you the exact conjunct in april means you might experience some revelations that change your uh perception on your life's purpose helping you let go of self-limiting beliefs and embrace a more fulfilling life moving forward. It's also time for you to support your mental health, embracing therapies and practices that foster well-being for you. This conjunct offers you a unique opportunity to release the past and cultivate a healthier, more enlightened approach to your inner world, setting a stage for significant um, personal growth and time period during this and the hope that Pandora is bringing you is about its healing and it's a closure from the past burdens or subconscious patterns. This alignment could illuminate the hidden aspects of your psyche and offer insights that lead to significant and personal growth and freedom. Cancer. Jupiter conjuncts Uranus in your 11th house. Expect a significant shakeup in your social circle and your collaborate, your collaborative projects that you may have going on. This alignment occurring in Taurus, which is a sign you naturally resonate with due to the emphasis on stability, and it promises to bring new opportunities through group associations and long-term goals. Since Uranus entered your 11th house in 2018, that followed by Jupiter, you have been navigating changes and, and Pandora. She's been there for four and a half years, about four years now. Okay. No, yeah. Is that right? No, it takes her four and a half years to go around. She's been there. She's been there this year since January. Okay. Jupiter, you've been navigating. <laughs> what? A, I don't know where I was at. Since Uranus entered into your 11th house on it, on the, on 2018, followed by Jupiter, you've been navigating changes in your friendships and your community ties, perhaps facing upheavals and realizing the need for more authentic connections. This conjunct might lead to sudden realizations or opportunities that align with your individuals or group sharing broad possibilities politically or socially. 
oriented worldviews. The next 14 years are set to introduce influential new relationships in your life, potentially transforming how you interact with community. May in particular could provide especially fortune for you offering a chance to significantly impact group dynamics and achieve personal aspirations. And what is the hope that Pandora brings? It could be about finding new optimism in social connections and future aspirations. Pandora's presence suggests the changes in social circles may lead to meeting uh, influential new allies or forming dreams that are better aligned with your evolving self. Okay, Leo, Jupiter, Uranus conjunct, activates your 10th house, a career and public image, marking a period for potential sudden breakthroughs or unexpected opportunities in your professional life. With Uranus and Taurus since 2018 in your career landscape. It's likely undergone some, uh, a lot of changes, challenging you to refine your professional identity and public standing. As Jupiter joined Uranus in Taurus last year, and Pandora in January this year, it brought a wave of optimistic energy and expansion to these areas. The upcoming conjunct could catalyze significant changes and perhaps offering you a new role. The project or path that enhances your public image and professional status. This is an excellent time to think innovatively and embrace changes that might seem daunting but can lead to substantial growth and recognize, uh, recon, being recognized. Okay. For those of you who value stability, this period could also encourage you to um, challenge conventional career paths and explore unique and unconventional ways to express your leadership qualities. To embrace this dynamic period, to launch new adventures new ventures, or seek advancements that reflect your true aspirations, especially as um, May approaches. It'll be a harrowing time to evaluate your professional profile. And what is the hope that Pandora brings? It's about to find hope and career transformation and new opportunities for your leaderships, even with the current Changes feel unstabilizing and destabilizing. You can lead to a more fulfilling path that showcases your true abilities and your true potential. Virgo. It's about expanding new horizons and embracing new learning as this Jupiter Uranus conjunct highlight significant activity in your ninth house of higher learning, travel, philosophy, expansion, particularly around this time period. This house has been activated by Uranus since 2018 bringing a desire for change and new experiences and Jupiter's presence since last year has only magnified these things. The conjunct in April could bring a sudden opportunity for travel, <clears throat> a breakthrough in your educational pursuits or transformative change in your world view. This period encourages you to embrace new ideals engage with different cultures and um, possibly undertake studies that expand your horizons. And it's ideal time for spontaneous travel or exploring new areas that challenge and enrich your understanding of the world. This transformative phase is also about breaking free from routine and embracing the excitement of learning and exploring. Expect moments of magic and significant shifts in your perspective. 
which could profoundly influence your personal growth and your understanding. Embrace the changes and allow them to broaden your intellectual and spiritual horizons, leading to richer and more fulfilling path for you. And so what is the hope that Pandora brings to you? Pandora opens new a door to new education, spiritual or cultural experiences. And there, uh, the hope here is expanding your worldview, possibly through travel and study and leading to broader understanding in your place in the world. Libra, it's about financial transformations in deep connections. Jupiter conjunct Uranus events focus on significant changes in your eighth house. That's your money with other people. It's what comes to you from other people. Governing finances, investments, intimacy, and personal transformation. This conjunct that happens April 20th may introduce unexpected financial opportunities or shifts, particularly involving shared resources, investments. It can be inheritances. Since Uranus entered Taurus in 2018, you've navigated an unpredictable, unpredictable financial landscape which Jupiter's presence since last year has aimed to stabilize with growth and optimistic energy. This period could lead to financial gains, potentially through partnerships or, uh, or mergers that enhance your resources and your stability. The eighth house, the eighth house also deals with intimacy transformation indicating these financial changes could coincide with deeper relationship shifts, freeing you from outdated dependencies or entanglements, fostering your personal freedom. Be prepared for complex business and financial matters to begin making sense, especially as innovative approaches that you've adopted um, start to yield the results. Jupiter's influence uh, soon could rectify all of this for you. Okay. Additionally, the significant development could come for you in May linked to your ruling planet Venus. It may play a crucial role in your financial or business endeavors. It's potentially marking a turning point in how you manage and benefit from shared resources. The hope that Pandora brings to you, Libra, you may discover a deeper connection and new financial strategies. And this could mean resolving some debts, benefiting from some investments, or finding strength in emotional bonds that undergo transformation. Scorpio, this is about relationship breakthroughs and new beginnings. As Uranus continues this transit through your seventh house, bringing in transformative changes to significant relationships since 2018. The Jupiter conjunct with Uranus on April 20th promises to amplify these effects. This conjunct may introduce unexpected but positive developments in your personal business and partnerships, potentially enhancing your connections or leading to new commitments. This period is ripe for transformative changes in how you engage in relationships, whether these are romantic, professional, or casual associates. The opportunity of this upcoming conjunct could help you break free from restrictive patterns and embrace healthier dynamics. For those single, this could mean a new or improved relationships and or, or, or if you're not single, it, you could be improved relationships that offer more stability and fulfillment. Significant developments and un 
in the unexpected in the next month, particularly favorable aspect between the Jupiter and Venus suggests highly um, auspicious time for your relationships. This alignment could mend or conclude partnerships that no longer serve you, paving the way for more supportive and fulfilling connections. Whether these relationships are personal, professional, or with um, institutions such as banks or retail organizations, expect improvements that lead to fresh starts and better alignments. And so what's the hope that Pandora brings to you? You may find new hope in relationships, both personal and professional. Changes and revelations brought on by this conjunct could lead to more authentic and supportive partnerships for you, Scorpio. Sagittarius, this is about work and health innovations for you. The conjunct of Jupiter and Uranus in on April 20th in your sixth house highlights significant changes in your work and environmental health. Since Uranus is entering into Taurus in 2018, complemented by Jupiter's arrival last year, your daily routines and health regimens may be uh, may have seen substantial shifts. This period could introduce a sudden changes that benefit your work, your health, your uh, your potentiality improving your job situation or health outcomes it's excellent time to initiate new work projects on health routines that promise long-term improvements you're encouraged to organize your daily life more efficiently fostering balance that supports your overall well-being and productivity if you have been experiencing disruptions in your sleep and in consistent routines, the alignment of your ruler, Jupiter, your modern day ruler, with Uranus suggests that these challenges of the past six years are starting to make sense and they're opening up to new job opportunities and lifestyle changes that suit your nature. The rewards from this transformation period may become apparent to you in May, potentially leading to more engaging and satisfying daily routines. And what is the hope that Pandora can bring to you? You could see improvements in your health or work conditions as the routines bring positive change and Pandora offers hope for more balanced daily life and supports both physical and mental well-being. Capricorn, this Jupiter, this is all about unleashing creativity and embracing new ventures for you, okay? The Jupiter conjunct with Uranus on the 20th illuminates your fifth house of creativity, passion, projects, romance, and children. Since Uranus entered Taurus in 2018, it's been impacting these areas of your life. With this unpredictable flower flare to this energy with Jupiter's arrival last year, the stage is set for growth intermingled with surprises. This conjunct might herald unexpected events or significant breakthroughs that could revitalize your creative expression or romantic life. You may discover new advent, uh, new avenues for expressing your unique talents or embark on creative venture that excites and fulfills you for those considering entrepreneurship this is the opportune time to start a business that aligns closely with your passions that's the key word okay while this period brims with potential for positive change it also calls for caution particularly in specul speculation endeavors where risk is involved additionally the ongoing eclipses in your fourth and tenth house suggest transformative changes in your home life and career linking your personal 
evolution with professional growth. Embrace the spirit of creative and romantic revival as you lay down new foundations that resonate with your true self. And the hope that Pandora brings to you. It's about new joy and creative inspiration, possibly through a new hobby or a romance. This period might rekindle the pleasure of life, encouraging you to take risks that lead to personal fulfillment. Aquarius, it's the foundations of emotional stability and family connections. It's a period of profound transformation in your domestic and emotional realms. Marked by Jupiter and Uranus conjunct on the 20th in your fourth house. Since Uranus entrance into Taurus in your home and family dynamics have undergone significant changes. Jupiter's recent addition has aimed to expand these areas positive, positively. This conjunct may spark unexpected developments, possible prompting moves, property purchases, or su substantial shifts in your living situation. This is a pivotal time for establishing emotional stability deepening family connections, or perhaps refinding your sense of security. These changes underway could lead to deeper sense of belonging, crucial for your personal development and emotional well-being. The impact of this period extends to how you think and communicate. Influenced by the eclipses in your third and ninth house axis could transform your communication strategies and um, intellectual engagements. Embrace this time with significant personal domestic transformation that promises strength in your emotional foundations and enhanced family relationships. And the hope that Pandora brings to you, it may uh, manifest a stability of new beginnings in your family relationships and your living situation. Changes at home that initially seemed challenging could bring greater harmony and understanding through the hope. Pisces. This is all about expanding your horizons and communications and local engagement. This upcoming Jupiter and Uranus conjunct on the 20th activates your third house of communications, influencing communication, immediate environment, and short trips. With Uranus in Taurus, since 2018, you've experienced unpredictability in these areas. With Jupiter's expansion focused as your um, that broadens your intellectual horizons, this conjunct could introduce breakthroughs in how you communicate and think, potentially offering unexpected opportunities for learning and new local engagements. You might find yourself challenged to adopt, adopt new ways of thinking or communicating that what could significantly enhance your adaptability and expand your local interactions. This period may also encourage short travels that bring refreshing change to your routine. Additionally, financial management comes into focus. Underscored by the eclipses in your second and ninth house, urging you to find balance between your personal resources and shared finances. With ongoing transformations in your identity and your subconscious patterns marked by this energy, it's a critical time for personal growth that could greatly improve your communication skills and your local community involvement. And the hope that Pandora brings to you is new ways of connecting and communicating with others. Changes in how you express yourself and interact with immediate environment may lead to more vibrant and social life and deeper connections for your community growth. Okay. Okay, now we're going to move into our segment of the transmissions. And today I'm also going to be using the 
Illumivati water. My bottle came in. I'm so excited to have this energy, these frequencies, and to download this with you. It is Pandora's box. It is hope for the future and what we can um, bring in. And that's how I feel about the energy of this. So let's breathe in together. And with your breath, come in to your center. So put your hands at your heart in prayer position. And we're going to open up our lot bodies to receive our full capacity of our higher self, of our avatar self. So we're going to open that veil. That veil, we don't have to bust through anything. We just open it. And we are connected to our full spectrum frequencies and our full spectrum consciousness. And this is where the creation codes are. And this is where we create from our creation codes. And that's where hope is. That's where the hope of the world is. And it's also stored within us. So breathe in that connection. Enter into your sacred chamber. You know where that is. Just go there. You can open up the Oh, the back of your heart chakra between between your shoulder blades and go in the back door. That's your door. That's your secret passageway straight into the heart, the codes where you keep hope at. Sometimes you may hide the hope from yourself and you don't remember where it is anymore because of all of the crap that's happened here, all the wouldas and couldas and shouldas. So we're going to disconnect from the wouldas and couldas and shouldas. Breathe in and open up the energy the place where hope is hid within you. Feel that energy to that and just allow that to come to you. You may see a symbol. It could be a color, a lot. It could be a message. What is that symbol of hope for you? Ooh, I just saw doves, white doves. How cliche. (laughs) Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Breathe in that energy. It's that simple as what they're saying. Don't fear the woes of the world. Connect to the hope. Let all that other mind clutter go and know that there's a purpose and a reason that we can't understand with these minds of the bigger picture of what humanity is doing for the whole collective. And I mean, all planetary aspects of ourself. So drop in, ooh, my water just beat. So drop down, drop that energy down through your central column into the core of earth herself. There's a key, there's a keyhole there for you. This is your hope that Gaia herself holds for you in the energy of that. So feel the connection of these two points as they come together. And we can invoke Jupiter and Uranus as Taurus holds this container for us with Pandora herself and the, all the gifts. Pandora was created from the gifts from gifts of the gods. You have those gifts. You are the gifts of the gods. You are the gift of the gods to humanity. So feel that energy of that and connect to that. And if there's anything that has um, I'm hearing disalign that. And I thought, is that a word that for you at any time, we're going to ask for that grid to be pulled, not even to repair it or heal it. Just pull the old distorted grids and receive the new grid, the new template of the new era and the new earth and the hope that you are and the light that you carry within you so breathe that energy in may you be blessed by the lot of your own reflection and the beauty that you are thank you thank you for incarnating Thank you for taking on a DNA skin suit and being here at this time that we call now. So like, share, do all of those little things. Come back and play with me. Oh, I forgot. Activate. If you have any water, send the codes into the water. And then you can use this water 
that you download the frequencies into and send out to all of humanity and you can continue to use it for yourself to restore yourself may you be blessed and remember go dance your freaky dance and be your freaky self <laughs>